Okay, this is recording now. There I am. Hi, Kim. Can I wait just one more minute? See who else jumps on, and we'll get this presentation started. I'm going to try to do the Facebook Live on one hand and the Zoom cast on the other, because um, Facebook Live would not pick up this feature here. For some reason, last time when I screen shared, I was having some issues yesterday with that. So uh, Zoom allows for it. And I'll get started here in just a minute. So heart math, uh, again, everyone hopping on, we're doing, I'm doing these heart math presentations to let you become familiar with heart math Institute with some of their technology. Heart math has done lots of studies about healing with the heart. So we're always, uh, or we hear often, we should lead with the heart and let your head follow. Tony Robbins has emphasized that. Lots of people talk about leading with the heart. And uh, Probably about the 1990s, we've learned more. Um, before, we thought the brain was in control of everything. That the brain was sending information to the body and telling the body what to do, which does obviously play a large part. But what research has been showing is that within the heart itself, it has its own um, type of uh, nervous system. There's a brain within the heart and that the heart actually sends more information to the brain than the brain is actually sending to the heart. And when we do neurofeedback and biofeedback, I mean, these techniques are very helpful, but even the medical community has been shifting over to using heart math products. And it's teaching us to get into becoming present with the energy of the heart. And in essence, you're just dropping down to being present, which we're always, uh, anybody who's spiritually seeking enlightenment or salvation is presence. Uh, Eckhart Tolle actually right now is putting on these webcasts about presence. So we want presence. And when we're present, we feel peace, we feel calm, we feel coherent, we feel we can think better, we can act more purposefully. And what heart math has shown through research, this isn't just a, some philosophical thought anymore, some metaphysical, um, you know, focus, focus stuff, but that dropping into your heart because uh, uh, the information it sends more to the brain will lead the brain to function differently, you know, to get those parts of our bodies to react differently, our physiology. So I'm going to show you a demonstration here real quick. We'll just jump into the technology and share a few more key features, and then we'll do some questions and answers if you guys have any. All right, so here we have our heart math system, which you can see down here in this corner of the screen. You'll see a pulse up here at the top portion. You're going to see the heart rate variability. And here we have a little mandala. So when you use this, you can look at the mandala. Um, you can breathe set a pace where you can breathe in for five seconds, breathe out for five seconds. It's really pretty. <laughs> and down here, you'll see as I start, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet once I start this, because if I talk, you'll see a difference in results. So here you'll see how your uh, in this little box, you'll see how your coherence climbs over time. And up here just measures your heart rate variability. So here we go. If you have a choice for music, I uploaded this tracking for you. Okay.
So a little more challenging being the person here, Joe, that's holding the phone, trying to create the focus, <laughs> checking in with everybody here. Um, so here we go. You see, this is where I started off. Typically, and this isn't bad states. So here we have the red, we have blue, we have green. Red is our normal coherence. This is the normal stressful state that we're in day to day, and even for you speakers and presenters out there as well. Um, being in a coherent state, like a high coherent state, being in the green isn't where we always want to be. Same thing with sports athletes. Um, what we want is a coherence that's going to match whatever activity that we're doing. <clears throat> so as we're speaking, if we're on stage and we're presenting, um, it's going to be a little bit more challenging to maintain this green state. As you can see, you know, even at the beginning, as I was trying to talk and maintain this, you see a little bit more jagged results. And as I attempted to relax and breathe, they became a little bit more round. Let me show you a, a previous one I did yesterday. So here's when I'm not active and I can sit restful. You see these long strides, deep, full breaths. You see that they're pretty even spaced. Between each point is your heart rate variability. And down here, this is your average um, I think I'll just point my finger. My average heart rate was about 70 beats per minute. And my coherent score yesterday was about 5.4. So on this mandala, it was, you know, about in this range to where I averaged yesterday. Now, again, the point with this technology, what helps is when we're trying to reduce our stress, when we're trying to relax, we've heard how we can regulate our breath, when we regulate our physiology, how it's better for us, how we become healthy. But I'll tell you, for me, even personally, since I've started this heart math, and I started probably about a couple months ago, and over the last couple weeks, I really stepped up my game. What it's helped me to realize is how quick we are to get back into our head. And as we sit and we try to maintain this heart presence, and if anybody's ever attempted to meditate, you know exactly what I'm talking about. As soon as we sit down to try to relax and then focus on our breath even, the thoughts come up. Uh-oh, I'm thinking, shoot, I started telling that story. Okay, stop. Then we're focusing on stopping instead of focusing on a meditation. And then one thought leads to the next, leads to the next. And then, am I doing this right? Um, shoot, maybe I should have read that thing early. You know, the thoughts go on and on and on and on and on. And this system, it's not that we need it, it's not that it's absolutely necessary, but it is very supportive in our journey to become more coherent. And through practice, what we do is we can teach ourselves. You heard those bells that were dinging in the beginning. This was ranging from going to the red at a deeper tone to a little bit higher pitch in the blue, and then even at a higher pitch once it got into the green. For me, how this has helped me is I'm familiar with the tones of the bells. And I know, depending on what tone I'm at, whether I'm getting back into my head and into my heart. Sometimes I think I'm in my heart, and then I hear that bell tone drop into a blue. And I catch myself going into a story. And it reminds me, stop. Bring your attention back down to your heart. Bring your attention to your breath. Breathe through the heart. So it's, this is part of the self-monitoring system is a little bit of support. Um, just a few days ago, I went for a walk down on the beach here in Monterey, and I tried doing this while I was walking, and uh, I found myself being stimulated by tons of phenomena. There's the waves, there's the birds, there's this beauty all around, and then I'm walking by people, and I'm thinking, should I smile, should I not smile? If I don't smile, am I going to come off awkward? <laughs> you know, all this stuff, and so I'm trying to let go and bring myself back into my heart space. So if I was to monitor this, which there is an inner balance system, it's Bluetooth, and there's an app on your phone that you can download on your phone. Um, you could do this while you're walking and maintain a more coherent, which you probably want to be in the blue at that point. Um, but it would help, the, the bells would help remind you whether you're getting into your heart, getting into your head, and then to stay, you know, how to stay in that presence of the heart space. But until then, until we're ready, you know, just to take this home and bring this into your home. Um, I read 
or I was watching Joel Osteen yesterday, and he read something from Proverbs that says, above all else, guard your heart, for out of it flow the issues of life. And not issues like problems, but out of our heart, it flows life itself. And this is what HeartMath Institute, HeartMath Institute is the actual research um, entity, and they're doing all the research behind it. Then we have HeartMath LLC, which is developing these products like the finger sensor and uh, the ear sensor that you can hook this onto your earlobe. And we have practitioners like myself and others who are taking this out of the world and, uh, and uh, bringing it into people's lives. So what we do with this, so there's a few things. Healing, when we're in, on the path of healing, if we have some physical illnesses, if we're in pain, if we're experiencing anxiety, if we are experiencing tons of stress, and you're going to your doctor and you're seeing your physician and you're on medication, um, let me see if I can find this uh, one thing for you. If we're in a frustrated state, then your body is not going to heal as effectively. Um, I don't know where this chart is at. It's not going to heal as effectively as when we're in a coherent state. And let me see if I can find one, actually. Oh, there's definitely something here. What if we do? Yeah, let's just take this for example. So if your results are sharp, they're jaggy, they're inconsistent, you know, this is not what the previous screen that I just had up. Your heart rate is jaggy, it's inconsistent, it's all over the place. You can imagine the stress in your body. And if you're taking supplements, if you're taking medication, it's not going to be well received. Your body's in a stressed mode, therefore your physiology is going to be tense, it's going to be tight. And your chances of healing are going to be slower. You know, it's going to take a lot longer to get there because you're in a state of resistance. When we're in a state of coherence, physiology is open. It's receptive. It's going to receive the nutrients that it needs. Being in a coherent state versus incoherent state, um, it's funny um, what happens when we just hold a negative thought in mind. And this is what we typically do. If I had somebody here with me, instead of me doing this system. We had somebody here and I had put the sensor on them and I asked them to think about something that was frustrating them. You would see the, this type of a chart. You would see something that's inconsistent and incoherent. Then I asked them in the same session, think of something that brings joy. So for example, I had a client of mine I was working with and I said, what's something that brings joy? She says, fluffy puppies. Me and my son love going to YouTube and watching videos or pictures of fluffy puppies. And the second that she started talking about it, you can see how the waves became more um, graceful, they were full, they were complete, they were even, they were consistent, all right? So we sometimes require to see things objectively, even though we've heard that breathing can help, even though we've heard that practicing these self-regulating techniques are supported to our well-being. And we believe them. And we agree with them. But we don't practice them still. Why? Because we haven't really seen the evidence for ourselves. Sometimes we have to see things. Even though we tell ourselves, you know, it's not that seeing is believing that when I believe it, I'll see it. Um, which is true. But sometimes you have to ask yourself. You have to know yourself. How true is that for you, at least for now? If it takes seeing to believe, then do it. Do what you need to do to see the results first until you believe that it's true. And then once you can get familiar with the system, once you've practiced it and mastered it, you don't really need to do this as often anymore, and eventually at all. But you've seen the results for yourself. You can see them here. Now I'll go back to the other chart. Um, this was yesterday afternoon's chart okay that's coherent another point is entrainment too um, we need to practice this and condition it within ourselves so that we can entrain our environment you know that if you've ever walked into a room before if you ever walked into a, a work meeting or you went over someone's house a couple and maybe they were fighting before you got there had no clue what was going on but the air was so thick that you can cut it with a knife right 
we feel these things and if we're not conscious and mindful we can become entrained to a negative environment bruce lipton has done tons of research with his um, uh, what is it epigenetics learning that our environment is more important than um, than uh, any of the physical any of the supplements uh, that we take our, itself, the biology about it, the genes, he's learned the genes don't have the consciousness just to activate whenever they want to, that it's the environment that we're around that stimulates the gene to activate, which causes certain sim uh, symptoms, right? So entrainment is another important element of this as well. The more that we can become coherent and condition this level of coherence, we can take this into the world, people will naturally feel better when they're around you, and I'm sure some of you I see that there's quite a few of speakers out here already. Um, you're already that way. And you see that when you're around certain people, they just open up to you. They feel relaxed around you. They trust you. They start telling you things. I get this all the time. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Well, it's because of who we are. It's not just what we do. Coherence isn't just an action. Coherence is the effect of what we've become. So another... Uh, Key elements to practicing this. Now, I'm going to teach you a quick little practice and then we'll go ahead and wrap up. That's what HeartMath calls quick coherence. It's a little two step practice. You can do this before you get your sensor and um, offering the coaching program too. So there'll be two ways that you can get your sensor if you like. Uh, I'll explain that at the end. But here's just a quick coherence technique for you guys to try. Actually, if you want to try it right now, feel free to sit back and engage, and I'll lead you through it. It's called quick, coherent, two-step process. So I want you to sit back in your chair. You can sit up too if that's comfortable for you, like a lotus position. And I want you to bring your attention to your heart. So imagine the feeling kind of getting out of your head, even though I'm still talking. Imagine that I'm meeting you at a heart level. We're not face to face, we're heart to heart. Drop your consciousness down into your heart. Now imagine yourself breathing through your heart. Oxygen is coming in through the heart. Oxygen is leaving through the heart. And then just tune into that presence. Even tune into the feeling of how relaxing that is. Now the key here is not to relax. If we relax, we'll see like those jagged incoherent states. Not that you're incoherent, but the heart just does something different. Um, the heart math sensor will pick up your physiology differently than um, what we do here. What the quick coherence is teaching you is to activate both your sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. If we're in parasympathetic, you'll see the inconsistent things all the time which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This is just for these results. So keep your attention in your heart. Pay attention to the feeling. And then bring up a feeling, a memory from the past, something that brings joy, immense peace. Maybe it was a certain moment with your family. Maybe it was something that you would achieve. Maybe it's just... Um, a fantasy that you have of sitting on a warm beach or in a forest covered with pine trees and the smell of the dew. Now, don't go into the story about what those images or what's going on around you. Just tune into the feeling and drop into that. And when you find yourself going back into thought, go ahead into a story, you go into images, pictures, words, remind yourself to come back to the feeling and just stay in the feeling. And this is quick coherence. It's that quick that we can drop into something. Now, you can take this quick coherence in with your practice day to day. If, if you intended to do it three times a day, just for a few minutes, I guarantee you're already going to see results. 
Um, I was taught six times a day. I started off three times a day for five minutes. I got on the training call. He was saying a lot of these people are doing five minutes six times a day. But don't overdo it yourself. Start off somewhere that you feel it's good for you. But I'm encouraging you at a minimum two to three times. Maybe in the morning before you get out of bed, instead of jumping out of bed, just take three to five minutes, sit up, tune into this, tune into that heart space, tune into the feeling, stop thinking about the thought, stop focusing on the thought, bring your focus back to that heart feeling. If you can remind yourself during the middle of the day, and then as you're ready to go to sleep, you can do this again before you go to at night. Sit up, breathe, get into your heart space, and then don't even focus on your breath anymore. Just focus on that feeling of being in your heart space. That's quick coherence. If you do this two to three times a day, guaranteed over the next 30 days, you're going to find a major shift in experiencing this anxiety, this stress, this overwhelm. So to wrap up, um, there has been tons of studies. There have been tons of studies on anxiety, on panic disorder, on pain, different levels of pain. Um, if you are interested in some of the literature, let me know. I can direct you to the HeartMath website. If you go to heartmath.com, I'm sure that you can find some of the literature there. You can purchase some of these symptoms, uh, symptoms systems. So this particular system I have here is an M-Wave Pro. It's a $300 system, I think $299. You get an ear sensor. I purchased an extra finger sensor to go with it. If you are a health professional, what's nice about this system here is that you can upload, you can create a cloud so your clients can upload their results to your cloud and then you can monitor which the coaching program I'm actually going to be talking about here in just a second. If you're just using it for yourself, they have an inner balance system that's both for the iPhone and Android phones. You download an app, you get a Bluetooth sensor, I believe it's an ear sensor, and you can pull your phone out anytime, any day, plug in, and um, you can just track your results. You know, you can focus on this mandala here. You can see your results here and here. And they also have, let me show you, what's a, uh, you get awards, achievements. So you can keep track of certain achievements and whatnot on there as well. Um, there's actually a part where you can see what other people are doing their achievement levels, um, scroll down here to see what everybody else is doing. Um, try to keep up with them. If you're a competitive type, I'm not so much competitive type. And they have one specifically for iPhone only. I don't think it's a Bluetooth sensor. You just plug into your phone. You have the heart, uh, the ear sensor or your finger sensor. You can plug it in and you'll have the same mandala type system and chart. And again, this is uh, just to help track where you're at. So when you're feeling stressed out, sometimes we don't know what to do. It helps to have a system that we can just look at. And once we can see that we're feeling better, it registers in our mind, you know, that, okay, I can see this. I know that I'm feeling better. If I just practice this, you know, more often, um, maybe I'll see some better results until we can start believing it for ourselves. And then we'll see the differences as well. So. I have a coaching program I'm coming out with. We'll have two different options. Um, for 297, we're gonna do three sessions. It's gonna be over uh, one month. So with the 297, I will mail you one of these systems. You can let me know uh, if you want the inner balance for your iPhone or Android phone. There's one that you can just plug into your iPhone only. That's a lightning sensor, I forget the name of that. If you wanted to go for the M-Wave, it would. Um, there's M-Wave 2, which is a Bluetooth device. I think it's $199. Um, it would just be a little bit more for you to get that system. But you're going to have three coaching sessions with me. So you'll be able to upload your system to my or your results to my heart cloud. I will monitor these and track these. And I'll even be live with you while you do these, uh, do these practices as well. We can talk about how we can do that. So you have three sessions, you'll get an interbellum Bluetooth system, you have access to my heart cloud, and then we're gonna do one group coaching over that three, four week period, where we'll get other people on the call 
asking questions, talking about their experiences. I'll share some insights, some guidance for everybody as well. For 597, you'll have four sessions at 50 minutes. Um, so at the 297, you'll have three sessions for 30 minutes. For 597, you'll have four sessions for 50 minutes. You'll get uh, two, we'll have two group coaching Q and A's. I'll send you an email after our coaching session with specific lesson plans uh, for what we talked about on our call and what you could be doing, coaching you, what you can be doing uh, from that week until the next. You also get email support. So if you have questions, you can feel free to email me and you'll get what I call these five minute quick calls where you have access to my cell phone. You can call me anytime during the day, during business hours. Um, you'll have five minutes to ask a question. Um, typically, as we're being coached, we have questions from one week to the next. And perhaps, if you guys get on the ball, even at the 297 price, I can offer this to you too. Um, if you get back to me over this next week, um, I'll offer the same thing to you too. And what I do encourage you is to construct your question before you call me so that we don't waste time on the call trying to find out the question that you want to ask. So get clear about your question. You can give me a call anytime during the day, Monday through Friday for business hours, typically 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And ask what it is that you're having an issue with or a struggle or a challenge. And we'll go through it. And you can do this throughout the day. It's not just one time a day. All right. Um, I'm going to be introducing some other things over the week, too, like uh, this hemp oil. We have a detox system that we've come out with as well. So in part of being coherent and healing, it's mind, body, and spirit. So we're working on things on a spiritual level. And I'm not talking about religion. I'm just talking about facing the unknown. You know, uh, faith, in essence, faith. Faith is uh, having the courage to face those things that we can't see and touch. Um, having the courage that we're going to come out on top anyway. So spiritual level, the mental level, which is working with our emotions, our thoughts, and then on the physical level. So uh, we'll talk about diet. We'll talk about exercise. We'll talk about what else we're doing. Hemp, uh, hemp oil in particular, has tons of healing qualities. And um, I don't want to go too much into that because I want to wrap up the call. The detox system as well, you know, with our liver. We have tons of toxins that get stuck in our liver. As we release those toxins, there's a toxin binder that binds all those toxins. Most detox systems just release all this shit from your liver, and then they just tell you to drink fluids to flush it all out, which it doesn't get flushed out. So we actually have a toxin binder that binds all these toxins and pulls them out. Um, I'll probably get one of the people from our team to talk more about that. If you have any questions, um, feel free to send me an email at h. Crampton, J-R, at gmail.com. That's H-C-R-A-M-P-T-O-N-J-R at gmail.com. Send me a message on Facebook. If you see me on Instagram, send me a message on Instagram. And, um, yeah, I'm here to help. So thank you guys for joining us today. And we'll talk to you soon. Signing off. Cheers. I can do this.